so the plan today. So last week was uh, was we tried and we we did uh, uh, what do you call it? Legends mode and sort of uh, learned a bit about our world, and then we moved into uh, adventure mode and tried to uh, explain to, uh, adventure mode. I did a terrible job of it. Um, I even uh, didn't post the second part of that adventure mode to the tutorial mode playlist because it was uh, not very uh, good. <laughs> so uh, uh, today we're going to try it again. We're going to try a proper, uh, uh, what should I say, a proper basic adventure mode adventure. Uh, and sort of explore all the little parts of it. Not all the little parts, but explore the basic parts of it. Um, and then after that, probably after the break, after our, our, our hour break, not hour break, but our break after the first hour, we're going to come back and we're going to reclaim our fort. Uh, there's not a lot of tutorial stuff left that I need to cover. I mean, there's a few things we could, we could do, certainly. Um, uh, but I'm, I'm, I'm eager to try, uh, going back and reclaiming that fort. I want to show off reclaiming the fort anyways, but, uh, apparently our dwarven civilization is dead, and... It's, uh, I always enjoy playing those kind of games because you can get a king, you get all of the, uh, the royalty in your, uh, in your fort. And, uh, if you play, I like playing the game where you, you, um, sort of live in the same world every time. So, like, we could reclaim that fort, build it up. We could go build another fort. Uh, we could, like, settle that one, go build another fort, and, like, reclaim our dwarven empire. Maybe fight back against the goblins or something. So, that, uh, that's what I like doing anyways. So, I need to pull up something real quick. I always have to have my adventure mode wiki pulled up. Yes. Um, I've never done it before. But you can... I believe... I've, I've read it anyways. That if you, if you make an adventurer and then retire him in your fortress, then he will become a citizen of the fortress. I don't know if it'll work, like, because if I play as a human and go to a dwarven fort, I'm not sure if that'll work. I've not tried either one. Um, so I guess we'll figure it out. I gotta move a little bit that over a little bit, and then move that down there. Hey, Craig. Uh, that one. And then, okay, music sound okay? Seems like it's not too uh, loud. Okay. Uh, okay. So let's begin. So to begin, we're going to go back into adventure mode, and we're going to do another proper adventure. Now, I would like to do. We're going to grab a human because human is is certainly the best uh, for a well, best for anybody. We, we saw what happens when you start as an elf. You begin in the trees, or as an elf. Or as a human in an elven civilization, you begin in the trees, which is kind of a pain. Um, dwarven fortresses are like uh, labyrinths, uh, and finding your way out of them is is part of the challenge. So, but, but humans, however, uh, make a nice uh, a nice little human hamlet kind of thing, and so they're they're all right to to begin as. Um, well, we can do hero. That's fine. Uh, but we're going to make sure we begin down here in the uh, in the human lands as a human, the human lands of Gil Ibu. The last one we picked was uh, was the Union of Sheens, which is up here in the Elven land. No, I'm backwards. No, uh, the blockaded creatures was 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 the Elven place that is now uh, controlled by humans. So we're gonna be this one. Beginner idea of how much can your fortress change if you retire it? It can change a lot. Yeah, they uh, we we will find out just how much it will change. It'll change a lot. Though, um, yeah, we'll just we'll just see. Sometimes maybe nothing will happen. Other times, you may have just magma running through your fort. Who knows what the these dwarves do? Uh, okay, so the basic build I think for uh, an adventure, we're gonna go with some agility, strength, toughness. Um, we want focus is decent. Actually, I use my points right there. Is that all we want? We're gonna grab. No, there's a lot. That's all there's left is basically human and goblins. It goes back and forth, David. Sometimes Twitch is the is the closer. Sometimes YouTube is. I don't know. I've thought about going over to what's it? Is it Beam? Um, that's like live. I don't know. We want focus because that'll help us attack. Now we could put points into like social awareness, which will give us an additional person. Like we can have an additional follower. We can, now we can have, I believe it's two. 
We could have a third one. Maybe it's three, we could have four. Um, I'm not too concerned about that. What else do we want? I think we're just going to put... One more in the strength. We want to make sure we have a lot of strength. And then one into something like endurance. Endurance is a good one. So that way we've got... All the basic fighter abilities. And I want to be an axe man. Because I want to begin with... Oops, what did I just hit? I want to begin with a uh, with an axe. And so that will be my main weapon. With an axe I can use it to like chop down trees. And do some uh, building. So we have an axe man. We have what else do we want? We put a skill in, a couple skills in fighting. Uh, we don't need to do any bows or anything like that. We do need swimming. Swimming is is very important. Um, climbing a little bit, and let's do some adequate shield and adequate armor usage. A little dodging. We have 21 left. I want to make sure that we can read. Never know when that came up. Might come up. Um, do we need any of these? We can put a little bit. Do we want to be able to speak? Like, speak well? Maybe. Um, anything else? I think it's okay. Most of these are like for uh, arguments and things, which uh, we're going to go around and kill things. We're going to do this to keep this nice and basic. I mean, there's a lot of things we can do. We saw my, 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 uh, my, my poor attempt at becoming a, uh, a, a, a minstrel. It did not go well. Um, we want... I don't care about observing. What else do we want? Fighting, kicking. Uh, carpentry. I don't know that I need a skill in carpentry. I'm gonna put one in there. Actually, I'm not actually sure if you need a skill in carpentry to do the carpentry things. I don't think you do. Um, uh, but we're gonna go ahead and do it. We'll put one of Wardsmith just for fun. And Butcher, we don't need because we already have that. You choose play as a half-creature, half-human. I don't think, uh, there are those in Dwarf Fortress. I could be wrong. Um... I don't even know if those are in Masterwork. Anyways, this is our basic guy. Um, I think it's okay. Uh, the reason I poke, I pit, be, picked Reader, Novice Reader, is uh, if you come across something that... There's some things you could come across, potentially, I don't want to spoil anything, that you could read, which would make you um, a more interesting character. Alright, my name is Poondik Longthaguk. Where's my fort? Is this my fort right here? Or is it this one? I think it's this one. Is my my dwarven fort. So it'd be nice to go ahead over that way. Where a newly minted lieutenant of the great Caspa tangled nourished in the Dietrich's human camp. Destiny is calling your faithful worshiper of P Bang number letters, the god of wisdom and scholarship. P Bang! Oh mighty P Bang! Give me your strength. We're going to change our name though. We want uh Pundik is fine. Pundik? Poondick? We've got to change the last name, though. Pangolin Man? <laughs> yeah, you can play as creature. I didn't show that off. One of the options, you can have elf. Our options was elf, goblin, and human. The other one was intelligent, wilderness creature, so you could be like a pangolin man or a, a plump helmet man, those kind of things. Um, yeah, elephant man. Yeah, those kind of things you could play in the that other menu there. Uh, so our name is going to be... we got to randomize it. I wish there was just like a... Oh, there's a random, isn't there? It changes my first name, though. Last name, Date Leagues. That's not, not okay. That's not okay. We're gonna go with... Ooh, Axe. Poondik Axe. Axe. Ooh. Axe Bane. Axe Bathed. The... The blood. Here we go. The blood of... Ooh. The blood of velvet? No, I was trying to get elves. The blood of... Huh? The blood of... Anger? The blood of... Humans? The blood of humor? The blood of hugs. Poondick axe bathed the blood of hugs. Now we think I know what my job is. I'm no minstrel this time. Alright, escape done. We we're gonna build begin right here, which is like a little uh a human uh human place. The blood of blood. <laughs> and uh we're gonna first 
our first goal, adventure mode. We're gonna take this slow and not gonna, we're not gonna carry it away. We're going to just basically equip ourselves. Uh, we're gonna, we begin with some basic, <laughs> we're gonna, we begin with basic armor. Uh, so we, maybe we can find some chests, we can find some things to equip ourselves with. And then we must find ourselves a companion to join us. Um, there is a way, I'll show later on, to turn uh, the bogeyman off. But uh, I did not do that, so. I'm, uh, my quite dense, he wavy hair is extremely long. I'm muscular. I'm extremely broad. Nose is upturned. I'm like uh, Fabio. His round, close-set, dark olive eyes are sunken. His slightly flattened ears are short. His tall eyes have slightly large irises. Somewhat narrow head is somewhat tall. His nose bridge is somewhat concave. His hair is cinnamon. His skin is dark brown. Oh, I'm like, who's a long-haired black guy? I don't know. But I'm somewhere ex somewhat exciting. Ever claimed a city for your own? I have. It didn't really get me anywhere, though. He personally finds introspection to be a waste of time. Finds leisure time wasteful and is somewhat put off by trade and commerce. Dreams of falling in love. I have a moderate need for making romance. I mean, with my long hair. I think that's gotta be, yeah. It doesn't mean anything, but that's my certainly my person. Introspection certainly is a waste of time. Leisure time is wasteful as well. All right, you finally got your equipment together, such as it is. Now it is time for action and adventure in the rush of excitement. You've forgotten where you're going to go. Perhaps some of your friends can remind you. I have no friends. Uh, this is an interesting start. You've located Dietrichs, a camp. Interesting. I've not ever had that kind of a start. So uh, this is me. I am this guy right here. My cursor is on right now. You can see you. Right underneath me is there some dense needle grass. Uh, we can look at our inventory. We have an iron great axe and a bronze shield. Uh, I have a leather loincloth, as long as a sheep wool skirt. I also am wearing a dress. I'm also wearing a robe, some wool caps. Uh, we got some sandals, some socks. We're wearing socks with sandals. Water skin with some water in it. Backpack with some shad, which is a fish, and a large copper dagger that we can throw at people. Um, so it looks like this is interesting. There's just a bunch of folks just standing around here. We can hit L and we can look around. And just move our cursor to what we're looking at. So we have a muscular wrestler standing here. We also have a frail hammer man, a chubby wrestler, a short wrestler. We don't know their names yet. We haven't talked to them yet. A slim hammer man. So all these guys are uh, could potentially join us. A fat wrestler. We have a, a lasher. That guy has a name. He must be somewhat in charge here. Lots of wrestlers. Curly haired axe man. Short wrestler. So let's talk to this muscular, I mean, he's right next to us, might as well. Hello, muscular wrestler. So we're gonna hit K to talk to him. We're gonna talk to the muscular wrestler. We could also begin our performance, like start singing or something. We could shout out to everyone, or we could also just chat with uh, P-Bang, our god. So we'll chat with him. Say, hello, uh, what's your name again? Uh, I don't know what your name is. I am Poondick Axebathe, the blood of hugs. <laughs> I love the cause. Uh, his name is Inspuz Ignazdi. Uh, I am greater trust. Long live the cause. Don't travel alone tonight or the boogeyman will get you. Okay, well, we can continue talking to him. We're going to uh, continue the ongoing conversation or we can talk to someone else. Let's continue the conversation. We can say, uh, is there any specific... Uh, actually, let's say, how are you feeling? This would be a wiggly way to start a conversation. How are you feeling right now? Uh, what's the rush? I'm not asking a rush. I'm just asking what, how you're feeling. Uh, have any troubles about... Oh, well, let's see. We've got armies on the march and beasts. Oh, yeah? Uh, let's ask about those armies on the march. Army of Damstow Witch Flashed is marching on Nourish Shelter. So, based on my knowledge of, of goblin speak, I think Damstow is a goblin, I'm assuming. And uh, we saw in... Um, in Legends mode, about how the goblins are basically ransacking everything. They've destroyed most of the dwarves, and so it's very likely that there are goblins causing problems around here. Uh, let's also ask him, so we can ask him where Nourish Shelter is if we want to go try to fight an army. Um, yeah, there we go. The whereabouts of the goblin Damsto. We can go try to kill that guy. I'm not sure who Avala is. Uh, I can tell him that this must be stopped with violent force. By any means at our disposal. He says it was inevitable. So I thought, what? Nothing like a good friend? Uh, Alright, friend. 
Uh, oh, he's, he's telling me. So my, I have to give my thoughts on nothing like a good friend. I can say I can agree completely. Yes, friends are great. I can say uh, no, friends are worthless. I can flatter him. Um, we can respond passively. Yeah, whatever. I don't want to argue. Let's drop the argument. This wasn't an argument. Okay, so let's uh, move on to the next. What was the next one? The next one was the other troubles. Was I don't want to spread any rumors. Um, was ask for directions to. There's Dietrich, which is where we're at right now. There's a col bronze colossus out there somewhere apparently. There's the goblin Oozby. What was the other one? Um, beasts, right? Let's ask about the beasts. Let me ask about, ask about, there's a local ruler, ask about somebody. Ask about myself. What do you think? What do you think of me? The Kindled Fellowship are my comrades. You are a, also a pleasure to speak with. Well, thanks. Um, I can ask about sight, about the neighbors, and the, I can ask them all kinds of things. I can express my emotions. I can say, you must be careful not to waste. I'm doing fine. I'm like a recycling man. I ask him about his family. Tell me about your family. I have no families, but well, then you would like to join me then. So ask listener to join to join you. Now, if it is a warrior guy, you ask him to join you on adventurers, and he will join you fighting. If it's a uh, bard kind of person, you can ask him to join you as an entertainer, and he will sing and dance along with you. We're going to ask him to join us on adventures. <laughs> join me on adventures. I will agree to travel with you if you lead me to glory and death. Says this guy, whatever his name was. My most successful adventure mode character. Um, I had that. Uh, I think it's a video I did. Uh, Jimmy's journey, I think, is what I named it, where I went and I tried to take over a necromancy tower. That's probably my best one. Uh, okay, so we've got this guy following us. Old uh, Inspuz is going to follow us around. We can use the the number keys and he'll follow us. But we can get more. So let's get more. It's important we have someone follow us so we don't get eaten by the boogeyman. We've got uh, the Slim Hammer Man. We, this guy has a name, so I'm assuming he's somebody important. Uh, there's a lot of wrestlers. I don't really care about wrestlers, but there's a curly-haired axe man. We could ask him. Let's go chat with him. Uh, it was inevitable, says the Slim Hammer Man. Well, Slim Hammer Man, let's start a new conversation. I'm using plus and minus keys to navigate that menu. Uh, we're going to begin... Not a performance. No, 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 no. A new conversation with the Slim Hammer Man. Slim Hammer Man. I'll read him first. His name is. Oh, that's my name. Uh, I don't usually think much. What? Oh, these people are talking. So, number two, this guy. You can see where he talks. Number three is also buddy in our conversation. And then number one is, is uh, whoever, Coley. No, uh, the stout wrestler. He says he's good. So, lots of chatting is going on. I'm not talking to all of you, I'm talking to you. Hammerman. Hammerman. I would like you to join me. Uh, join me on adventures. <laughs> he says, where is he? He's number one. He says, one should always return a favor. And he's talking about something else. I will agree to travel with you if you lead me to glory and death. Excellent. So we've got two followers. Uh, we can try chatting with one more. And we can get maybe this Lasher. He seems like he's kind of important. So I'm not going to try to get him. Well, let's try. The Lasher, his name is Eight. I'm going to bypass the greeting. We're done with that. We're going to say... Well, let's ask about the local ruler. Who is it? I'm talking to number three. He says... The Kindred Fellowship rules Dietrich. Caspa is chief. We're in the right in all matters. So whoever Caspa is... One of these guys is named Caspa. And that's who is our leader, I'm assuming. Or it could be the, the, uh, the, the whole empire, actually. So, um... Guy with a whip. That guy. No, 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 no. Talk to the Lasher. Eight. Um, I could ask him how strong the position of the lands are. I could, I could, I could eventually try to begin like an insurrection if I wanted to. We're not going to worry about that just yet. Remember, we're keeping it simple. This is tutorial mode. I would, much as I would really want to start an insurrection and kill everybody, I'm going to try to control myself. Uh, join me on adventures. He says. Uh, with a band so large, what share of the glory would I have? So I've reached my maximum number of followers. You can have two. I didn't put any extra points in there. So I can have a maximum of two people following me. If I put more into social awareness, I could have a third person and fourth and all that. So, but there's a lot of boxes here. Let's go ahead and hit G and look and see what's in here. 
So in the chest we have gold coins, leather skirt. We can use those coins when we go to like a shop somewhere and uh, and buy things if we wanted to. I'm using the uh, asterisk key to navigate this. Eagle leather sandal. Nothing I really care about. So let's look in, let's look in here. Silver coins, a hemp thong, a bronze boot. Eh, bronze boot might be okay. Copper pick. There's just one bronze boot. Uh, there's, a, there's a small gauntlet. Small is not good for me. Small is good for uh, uh, dwar uh, dwarves and elves. So I'm gonna take. I'm gonna take the left gauntlet. Was there a right gauntlet? The bronze boot. Okay. Yeah, it was inevitable. Training spear, training axe, jute sock. Ooh, an iron helm. I will take that. So we can hit W to uh, wear our specific things. We're going to wear our copper gauntlet. Uh, we need to drop also some of our other things. Um, let's see here. Oops. Ah, you, uh, you can see what we have here. We picked up... So in uh, our pocket, basically, we have an iron helm. We also have a high boot, which I think I should be able to wear. I should take the coins. Can I interact with the cap. What can I do with the cap? I just want to drop the cap. Why well, can't I put the helm on? I just want to put the helm on. Hmm. Uh, there's 90 gold coins there. Okay, we'll take the coins. We'll take all 90 of them. Does it slow me down much? Oh, good. I can carry 90 coins. Okay, so if we go to a shop, we can sell things. Uh, yeah, leave me alone. Oh, what is this? That looks like a goblin. Oh, no, no. Okay. I thought it was a goblin outline. I was a little terrified there. Um, my left and right hands are full. Okay, so we hit... We put our weapons away, then we can... Then we can mess with this stuff. Uh, okay. I want to... How do I drop... How do I drop... Things that I'm wearing? I've forgotten my buttons. Already forgot my buttons. Let's see here. Anybody in here now? And uh... remove. There it is. There it is. Thank you, Craig. Uh, so we're going to remove our cap, and we're going to remove our what boot did we get? We had like a left boot, didn't we? So we're going to remove our left one of our sandals, and then we can W and, rem and wear our iron helm and wear our boot. There we go. And we can also D and drop the cap. And we can also drop the sandal if we wanted to. Anything else in here? There's a small rock. We can make a campfire. We don't care about that. We can also ignite the place. We don't want to do that either. Is anything in the cage? Oh, iron left gauntlet. Iron toy axe. Ooh, there's a copy of a book. I want the I want the book. There's a uh, a drum in there. A copper cage. More more gold, but that's fine. We're fine. Okay, I think we're good. We can pick up more stuff, but we want to move this along. So we have our water our water in our water stand has turned to ice. We can uh, we can use a campfire to warm that up. We are wearing our helm. We have a gauntlet on us. We have a boot on our left foot. And, uh, <laughs> we also have our weapons strapped to us. Q is what I use to strap my weapons away. Uh, and we're wearing all of our stuff. It'd be nice to have some armor. Maybe we should, like, look for some better armor. Like, something to put on our chest. Hello. Just, and just to have, because I want to die, like, immediately. There's a leather tunic, which is better than what we have. Chain leggings. Ooh. Okay, I'll take that. There's a right gauntlet. I'll take that. Okay, I lied. We're going to stick here a little bit longer. Let's see if we can go without dying immediately. Wool toga. I want something good. Let's look 
in here. Is that leather leather tunic again? I'll take that. I think that's going to be okay. I mean, it's, it's better than what I'm wearing. I'm wearing wool right now. Shoe, there's a copper, another copper helm there. Uh, Zil R is a weapon. Leather dress would be okay. A uh, wood splint, greaves, a copper mask. Oh. <laughs> yes, stands you up. <laughs> I catch myself laying on the ground all the time, too. One of the, one of the problems with uh, adventure mode, I guess. What's this? Another sandal, campfire. Okay, I think we're good. Uh, we want to... What did we pick up? We picked up a right shoe so we can drop... Our other sandal, that's not what I want to drop, remove K, and then wear the gauntlet. We're also going to remove our, um, our skirt, uh, our dress, I guess, and then wear the tunic. Okay, is that everything else? I think I took off my robe on accident. Okay. Are we good? I think we're good. We have a robe. We also are wearing... Um, we have a book. Oh, the... The the, the leggings. Let's drop... Four, drop the... Leggings real quick. I mean, I don't have a free grasp. I do have a free grasp. We want... Dude. One moment. Drop the water scene. We'll pick it up in just a moment. Okay. We'll pick up my... My book. And we're going to pick up my... Why is there ice on the ground? Is that for my water skin? Um, my leggings. We're also going to pick up my water skin, which has ice in it. That's everything, right? It's all I dropped. Okay. And then we want to wear the leggings. And we also want to not wear the water skin. Can I wear the water skin? Sure. Okay. I think we're good. I think we're good. We have, uh, in our backpack, we have the fish, the dagger. We have a, we have some gold. We have 90 gold coins. We also have a book that we can read. We are, in our hands, we have, we have two gauntlets. Iron helm on our head. We got a, we got one nice boot. I think we have a good left boot, don't we? Where did it go? Did I pick up a boot? I don't know. I'm not dealing with it anymore. We also have a, uh, a leather chest piece thing, basically. And we also have axe and shield. All right. So, now that a lot of time has passed by, let's move on. Now, we um, we can go to Shift-T to go to our overland map. Right now, we're at this little encampment here. Uh, what is it? M to move up the other one. We can see the uh, a little bit more of an overview map. This is where we are. We kind of want to make our way over to our fortress, I think would be the idea. Um, but we should do a little more exploring here. What is all of... Um, what was all this? I don't remember what all this was. I'll have to check it out. There's also some things moving around out here. Anytime you see an asterisk outside here, it means it's uh, some sort of thing walking around. We're going to hit D. We're going to stop. And um, we're going to head out here in just a moment. As soon as it stops. There we go. Okay, so we've got some minions, we have gear, we have weapons in hand, we're on the march. Now we could ask somebody for uh, something to do, if we like, we, we wanted to find somewhere to go, we could ask that, about that army on the march, you know, we had. What's this guy doing? Muscular wrestler. Hmm. Hey, buddy. Okay, so let's head... Oh, 
yeah, yeah. I don't know why you do that. Uh, shift T. Back to travel. We're going to travel. This is like our kingdom right here. Okay, let's head over there. Somebody over here is following us. We're going to make our way over here. And then when we get on something, we have a civic mound and a hillock. There's the drinking mound. What is this thing? What is this thing? Not my followers, right? My followers, unless they've changed something. Oh, maybe it is. Ambush! Oh, we're being attacked by somebody. Already? We're at the human town here. Ooh, what is it? We know it's something up above us. There's a hatch. The army of Dostngosp, frightened seduce, is marching on pale loot. Is that where we are right now? Maybe that is that what that is? Who's this guy? A frail axe man. Over here we've got a skinny spearman and a muscular maceman. We can ask them. Talk to this guy. A frail axe man. Oh, hello. Hello, I am Zacky Hopbuckle. Okay. Zacky, why are you traveling? I'm on an important mission. Not to kill me, are you? You're not, you're not the one that's like attacking me. <laughs> are you? Any troubles? Well, let's see. We've got armies on the march and beasts. So let's ask about this army on the march. Army on the march. Army of Sino Curlaw is marching on Horror Proud. What's Horror Proud? Where's the, yeah, where is Horror Proud? I don't know myself, but I don't even know that anybody could tell you. Well, gee, thanks. Um, directions. I don't want this one. We could come in here and we could try to find some of the... There he is. Goblin. Sinu Curlaw. Is that the guy that he... Is that him? That he just mentioned? I don't know. This guy's an idiot. All right, let's follow them. Something's certainly going on. It's a dwarf. He's He just ran in here to go to the bed? I'm so confused. Okay. Well, let's see what all this, uh, this ambush ruckus is about. The deer seem to be concerned. I think they're more concerned about me, though. It's a horse. I don't see anything. We're up on top of the mound right now. Head back down here. Hello? These are all dwarves. A bunch of dwarven farmers. The dwarves and humans aren't at war, I don't think. That's not what it is. I don't know what's going on. Sometimes we get a little bit of a uh, frame rate loss in these uh, in these towns. Well, I don't know what all that is about, but I see we have a bar. So I say we have a drink. Let's see if we can find one. Ooh, let's look in the cabinet. What do you have in here? A Gorlack leather vest. They're all small because they're, they're dwarves. Lots of gloves. Oh, there's all kinds of things in here. Um, look there, we have a chair, table, this is like a, I guess this is like an inn, a shoe imprint. I'm curious as to what this hatch is over here. Oh, it's like a little house, it's a tiny little house, hello dwarf farmer. I apologize for barging into your house, but I'm going to look and see if I can steal some of your stuff. Why is it all got to be small? Ohm leather cap. Yeah, yeah. You guys are of no help. What do you have here? Nothing. Nothing. All right, I'm leaving. I mean, there's just a bunch of dwarven houses out here in the middle of nowhere. There apparently there's an ambush going on, but I seem to have missed it. Who's this? A frail, drunk dwarf. I think we could kill him. And... And get away with it. <laughs> uh, no, we're not going to get too crazy today. We're going to do... 
Uh, we're gonna, we're gonna control ourselves. Okay. <laughs> Alright, well, I guess we're gonna move on. I don't know. What all this ambush stuff was about. Maybe we can see if we can, uh, if we can leave this area and find them. Let's just head up here real quick. We know they were north of us. Hmm. Now, when we were looking at, um, and Legends mode, we noticed there's like a, um, we noticed a vault. There's no, there's no necromancy towers around here. We did find a vault. I'm gonna hit T, I'm gonna throw my large copper dagger at this kestrel. Ooh, I got him. Swing large dagger strikes the kestrel in the upper body, tearing apart the muscle and tearing apart the left wing. He's propelled away by the, by the force of the blow. Take, what? Oh, I thought that was, oh, I thought that was my guys. <laughs> Kestrel's blood to death. Take that, Kestrel. Now we eat. Uh, we're going to butcher this guy. Hit X. We're going to uh, butcher. Why can't I butcher him? Is he too small to butcher? Uh, he's too small to butcher. All right, fine. I'll just pick up the corpse. We we'll use it as another weapon. We can throw things, throw it at people, I guess. Is this uh, more town or is this like a little valley? I think it's just a valley. It's just a strange-looking valley. That's a like a road, isn't it? What's this? Huh, interesting. Okay, let's travel some more. Oh, I guess we are still in the town. Uh, what is that? See, those things are... It's still there. I gotta figure out what this is. I'm gonna walk on top of it. We're gonna get the ambush thing again, most likely. I do have a dagger. Ambush. Where? Each time, there's these humans in here just running around. What are they doing? I'm very confused about this. Ah, Imi. Yeah, Imi, in indeed. Are, they, are you in here, like, uh, uh, killing the, uh, the dwarves? No? You're just in here, just hanging around. Alright, I'm done with Imi. it. I'm done with this. Why am I, why am I on the ground? Alright, let's, uh, let's, let's leave this town. Let's go see what that, uh, that thing is up there. Another one! Oh, something happened. Ambush. Spearman stands up. It almost has to be this. It's him. Let me talk to him. Skinny Spearman. Bypass the greeting. I don't care. I want to talk to you. Uh, any troubles? We got armies on the march and beasts. Yeah, I know about that. Um. I can claim the site for myself. Hmm. I don't know what's going on here. Uh, how is he feeling? I got into an argument. It made me very bitter. And here they go. They're just charging in here again. But they're just sort of hanging around. They're not doing any fighting. They're just hanging around. Alright, you know what? I'm out of here. I had enough of this. Yeah, yeah. Let's leave. Don't attack me again. I'm trying to get out of here. Bella! Alright. Again, more the humans again. Hmm. That's strange. Also, there's some storks they met there. Oh, so here's what we can do. We can use tea, we can grab our kestrel corpse, and we can kill the bird with our kestrel corpse. Throw it. Where did it go? Where'd the corpse go? Did you throw it? I missed it. Where did it go? I don't know where the... Oh, there it is. It's way down here. Okay, come get your corpse again. Okay. Uh, we're going to just walk to the right and see if we can just make our way out of here without uh, getting ambushed again by whatever is getting ambushed. Let's 
Let's go over there. Now, shift T. Okay, let's get out of here. Uh, what is this thing? Trenches. Hmm. Oh, have we? Oh, yeah. Cool. Interesting. We've, we've, ex we've have discovered a lair. I mean, we're most likely, so most certainly going to die. But that's okay. I'll show off a couple more things before we enter this lair. So we're going to D, we're going to stop. We're going to, um, at the edge of this lair here, let's hit up this rock. We're going to build ourselves a little hut. I'm going to claim this lair as my own. Uh, so let's, we have our axe in hand already. We can, um, uh, which one is it? Uh, no, not this missing. Please, not that one. <laughs> uh, we want to, so we have an axe. So we can do some uh, some tree chopping. We have a oh, it's apparently it's a saguaro. So using the uh, the G menu, we can fell saguaro. So we're gonna chop a bunch of trees down. Oh, apparently I'm too close to the site. Let's go this way. Is there are very many trees down here at the bottom. I'm gonna need more than just one tree. It's all covered in snow. Hmm. Oh, there's a tree. That was like a pretty big tree too. Ah, here we go. Here we go. Perfect place for a hut. So let's uh, let's get this guy. What is this? Saguaro. We're just to the north of the lair. Lairs contain terrible things. Obviously, I'm going to fell that saguaro. These are like are these cactus in the snow? See the water is uh, ice most of the way, but it's it's, it's Liquid to the to the east. I'd be careful when doing this. I had once one time I chopped a tree down and it it landed on one of my guys and he got angry and he attacked me. I wonder who this is. We could probably go in town and ask who's at this lair. Or get an idea who's here. This doesn't give me much wood, does it? So what we're doing is it's basically taking up time for us to chop this tree down. And then we'll go into a build menu and we'll build ourselves a, uh, a tiny little hut. We can't do any mining yet um, with this part, this this update in the game. Oh, did I? It's covered in water. It's covered in ice, I should say. Of course, of course the river's covered in water. Okay, so down here, we'll go closer to the, uh, the, the mountain. Then we're going to go into the build menu. And the build menu, uh, the build menu is is very simple. Like you would think, Dwarf Fortress is going to be Im impossible to build, but uh, nope, it uh, it's very easy. It's actually much easier than uh, than adventure uh, filter fortress mode. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna select wall. Yeah, there's no there's no digging yet. I'm sure it'll be in there before too long. Uh, so we can build a wall. So we have an X. We just going to make sure uh, W. I just point on my screen for the reason. W is is uh, highlighted, and then we can just mark out our wall. Something like that. It's gonna be a tiny place because we don't have a lot of wood to build. And we're gonna do something like that, like that, and uh, maybe like that for our walls. We'll put a door right here. I can put just all my little stuff in there. Um, I'm gonna remove. That one. And that one. We may build onto this a little bit later. For now, we'll just get the walls up. We can also name our site, which we should do. I want to name it Sung Strings. I think we're going to call it... Um, squat. Vault. Vault Vault is the name of the place. Why is Vault Vaults not this? Not Zopa Zopas. Uh, Zol Vault Vaults the Vault of Vaults. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Done. <laughs> so now, if when we go into Fortress mode, we can look it up and we can actually see um, the uh, this site Vault Vaults, the Vault of Vaults. Was claimed by what's my name, Poon, whatever. Uh, we're just gonna work on this for now. Work on the walls, and then we'll do more things. We S start work. Let's get these done. Uh, so now I can choose who's going to work. 
I need 11 logs to build this whole place. I have 50 logs apparently laying around there. Uh, we will work for four hours. Uh, I can decide if I want them to work. I can also tell them to work and me not to work if I want to go wandering around doing, uh, um, I don't know, adventure things. But that's fine. We can get it done in four hours. Oh, that's a big area. Oh, there's something there. Hope it doesn't come after me. I feel uneasy. That's, that's terrifying music I've never heard before. I think it's. I think maybe it's on the prowl. Uh, I'm hungry and thirsty, <clears throat> so let's eat and eat um, some shad. You can see my uh, my house. Is it done yet? It's not quite done yet. We got a little terrified there. There's something on the prowl, apparently. I feel a bit uneasy. You guys are going to protect me, right? Let's ask how they're feeling. Are you feeling uneasy like me? Why do I care where Emo is? Did you say something about Emo? No, oh, Emo must... You said... Emo... Subtle Crowded became the Lady of Society of Waning, replacing Emu. Wait, what? Marching on Sneer Nightmares. I don't know what all the, I don't know what you're talking about. Not my problem. Okay. Um, no, new subject. How are you feeling? I don't think I'm cut out for this. <laughs> Me neither. I think I know what we're about to find. Um, ask about the surrounding area. You tell me about this area. No, I don't know anything about the area. Or is that... Was that I'm, ask me when I return my home. Okay, that was me. Uh, let's ask the other guy. Collie. Collie! I haven't said much to you. How are you feeling? I just don't appreciate art. Return my hope. Yeah, he doesn't know. Um, okay, well, we can sort of wander a little bit. I don't, I don't think I should begin wandering around here. I'm a little scared. Okay, you know what? Let's um, let's just let's just continue building our house. Yeah, keep doing that. Um, I have enough wood, so let's go ahead and continue this out. I want to do something like this. Like that. And then we can make this one go out here. We'll sort of... Oh, that's not a good idea. Remove those. Okay. Yeah, we'll do something like that. Uh, whoops. Start. Yeah, everybody work. Don't worry about... Oh, I think he left. Like he went the other way. Good. Okay. So, this is our house. You can see it's it's sort of house-looking. Uh, now, we need to build doors and chairs and things. To do that, uh, first we must... Ooh, what are you? Are you a porcupine? Porcupine. A chubby porcupine. Get out of here. Throw my Kestrel corpse. Get out of here. Did you throw it? Oh, what is that? Oh, it's, a, it's just a bunny. I'm a little terrified of the bunny. Where did my corpse go? I don't know. We're going to throw the, the dagger at the porcupine. Jumps away from the spinning dagger. Where did my dagger go? Well, my dagger bag. Are you getting him? Uh, Inspuz just kicked the porcupine in the rear toe. Inspuz looks surprised by the ferocity of Collie. What? What? Ch Collie charges Inspuz from behind. Wait a minute. Why is this happening? Hello. But why is this? <laughs> why is this happening? The porcupine falls over. So Inspuz grabs onto the porcupine. Um, where's Kali? Kali bashes the chubby porcupine. Okay, good. Okay, good. They're not fighting each other anymore. Let's 
Releases the grip of his, his hand on the porcupine. Kali punches the porcupine. Okay, so they're destroying the, por the porcupine. Good job. Well done. They must have, like, got pushed back into it or something. Can I butcher this one now? Let's butcher the tubby porcupine mangled corpse. With our axe, we can use it to uh, cut it all up. So now we have porcupine bones, and we have meat. And we're going to pick it all up. We're going to pick up all the meat. And we're going to get... Whoops, I moved. We're going to get the... Uh, the well, I don't care about the skin. I'll get the skull, though, that's for sure. Uh, do I want the spine? Of course I do. What else do we want? I think that's, I think that's pretty good. If you want to go to kill Titans, go to where he is, find a lake, and let him follow you into the lake. It will drown and easier to... Ooh. Yeah. As long as it doesn't fly. Here's my dagger. Finally found my dagger. And here's the Kestrel Corpse. Which I guess is too small. We can't butcher it up like we could the other one. However, we now have a skull that we can place on our porch. This is very important. Mangled skull will go right here. We'll put the uh, the spine on this side. Porcupine spine will go right there on that side of the door. So that just, you know, keeps the riffraff out of the house. Alright, so let's go and build. <clears throat> this time we're going to go into constructions. Uh, no, sorry, sorry, sorry. Building. Buildings. And we're going to make ourselves a workshop. And a carpenter's workshop. Which is C. Which, uh, we're gonna put it right... It's the, the X is on the middle of the square, so we're gonna put it, like, right there. So that's where we're going to build our carpenter's workshop. When we get there, then we can work on building chairs and beds and all that. And door. Um, now we also have this option for phase one or phase two. We can hit plus and we go to phase two. So after we built the, uh, carpenter's workshop, then <clears throat> we can come in here. We can go back into constructions. And put, like, a, say, a floor down. I mean, my house needs a floor. I'm not a savage. Put that in there. Uh, whoops. And that there. We're going to cancel those two. Okay, so now we have a floor. I guess there should be a floor under the door. Can I? Uh, I probably can't do that, actually. Um, and then we should probably put a, a porch in. Put a little porch right there. Uh, there is a river n nearby, but no, this is all snow. It's all frozen over right now. It could melt pretty soon, but that would be bad. I don't think this is all river. I mean, I'm, I'm on... There's trees here. Uh, okay, so that's phase two. So we'll build the carpenter shop, then we'll go build the, uh, the wooden floors. Um, and then, phase three, we're gonna put in an upstair. Right here. And then phase four, we're going to go up a level and put a downstair on top of it. That way we can put a roof on top of the place. So we're going to go to phase five, and we're going to build a floor, and we're going to floor all of this. I don't know why uh, building in uh, fortress mode isn't this easy. There we go. So we'll put a, a roof on top of our house. Okay, start work. It's going to take us... 35 hours to do this. We need 35 logs. We only have 27. So we can't get all of it done, but that's fine. We can get a little bit of it done. We're going to have to sleep before too long. Notice there's, there are things running around here, isn't there? We'll have to go check out that that uh, that lair before too long. But I do want to get my fortress built up. Fortress. My site. <clears throat> I'm very thirsty. I'm also very hungry. So we have our carpenter's workshop now, so now we can we can build things. Has the is the house? Oh, what are you? A thin ibex. There's no door, but look, we have floors now. We're tracking snow in the place. We can go upstairs. We have not quite all the roof done. We need a little bit more logs for that. We can do that. Get out of here, ibex. Ibex, ibex. Uh, we also need to make. They're all scared of me. Let's chop this tree down. the pear tree. Oh, is that considered the other site? Alright, alright. That's right. I think I tried that one before, didn't I? Let's go find a tree that we can chop. There's one. What are you? You are... Buzzards. I'm not... You don't need to be around here yet, buzzards. It's not time yet. What is this? A porcupine mangled skull. Why is it... A Did somebody try to steal my skull? Did the buzzards try... Oh, I bet they did. 
Why bother putting upstairs and downstairs? Why not putting downstairs everywhere? You need... You need upstairs to get up to the roof, and you need downstairs to get down to the roof. I, the only way I, The best way I can think of... Let me pick up my skull back up. Stupid buzzards. Uh, the best way I can explain... Stairs is to think of it like a escalator. You can't go down the up escalator, and you can't go up the escalator. So you have to put an up one and a down one in order to go back down the stairs. We could build an up one, which would get us on the roof, but we couldn't get back down without like walking off of it. Okay, so the tree's been chopped. I need to pick up some of this wood. It's hilarious this is all like Saguaro. Pick up a few of those. I'm walking very slow. You can see my speed now is really slow. I'm also very hungry. Um, what is this over here? Excuse me? I don't know what that... I'm not sure what that is. It has something to do with the, um, the DF hack. Hello, Kali. Long live the cause. Why should I help? No doubt. Hmm. Okay, whatever. Okay, so I'm gonna go... Hmm? Pick this up. I think self-control is the key. Master yourself. People are having a crazy chat. Uh, we can eat the intestines. I'm gonna pick those up. We're gonna eat the porcupine intestines. You can see I'm very hungry and thirsty. So we'll eat also the... We can eat the Kestrel corpse if we wanted to. We kind of use that for uh, killing folks, though. So our hunger is now gone. In America, uh, where, I am, where I am, it's one uh, in the afternoon. Um, okay, so we got wood. I think, we're, we think we might have enough now. Let's come back over here. What are you doing? Beat it. What are you? Ravens. Why is there so many animals around here? Are you stealing my skull, too? My, my spine I left out? They did. My spine's gone, too. Stop stealing my stuff. I'm dropping my skull back. Okay, we need to, we need to drink something. So we're going to set up... This uh, This is going to be my, my hearth over here. That's what the idea of this is. So we're going to... Um, G, we're going to... Uh, why can't I build a campfire? I want to build a campfire. Maybe because it's inside. I guess I can't inside. Makes sense. Uh, if I come up... Man, we'll just stick it here for now. Campfire to our west. And we want to... Shift I to interact with our... Where is our water skin? There it is. Our Yakky Leather Water Skin J. <laughs> uh oh. We want uh, to. We can. We can fill it with snow. We also. We want to heat the la the water skin near the campfire. Okay. So now we can see. We can now drink the water. The the water skin has turned and melted the ice into water. So we can drink that. So we will do that. We can drink that. We can't drink too much because we're starting to feel too full. Um. Okay. So let's come over here. We have those logs now. We need to drop. I think the dogs have to be on the ground. So we're going to drop all of our logs. And then we're going to build, I think is what we, how do we interact with this? No, X, X, uh, carpentry. Now we can do things, we can like carve bones, we can, we can make, we can make a stone axe. Like if we don't start as an axe guy, we could make our own axe if we, with a rock and a stick basically. Uh, we're going to go to carpentry and we're going to make ourselves, we need, uh, we need a door first. Our axe is our tool that we're using. And we're also going to make... Oh, we need a chair. And we need a table. Oh, we need a bed. We also need a bed. And we should probably have... What else do we need? Anything else in here? The cooking workshop. Um, if there's a mod, it would probably be, be with uh, masterwork. I'm not sure what all you can do with masterwork on Dimension. I've played it, but I know it adds a bunch of stuff. Uh, I'll make a chest. Sure. Okay, so we have all these things. They're in our inventory now. As soon as we make them, they go in our inventory. We have door, bed, table, all that stuff. Um, I have tears on my eye. Um, now we're going to go back into our build mode, and we're going to set these things up. So we're going to put in under constructions. No, no, sorry. Buildings. We're going to put in our door. It's going to go right here. 
our bed. This is going to be our bedroom back here. Oh, why didn't that wall not get completed? We'll put our bed right there. We're going to put in our chest. Um, I might need a new cabinet. I don't know about chest. I may have to just lay it down. Um, this is supposed to be my, my fire pit, but it may be something else now. Maybe we'll build a statue or something. If we can, I'm not sure if we can. Um, or a burial receptacle. We can put a, we can put a, a, a sarcophagus in there. We want, uh, our, our chair to go there. And our table to go there. And anything else? I think that's, I think that's it. We can also make a bookcase. We do have a book. We should make a bookcase. Okay, uh, start work. What do I, it says I have zero logs. Um, okay, well, we'll work until we can, until we have time for all this. And then we'll go get some more logs. Oh, no, I don't know. We had, what, eight logs left? We don't need too many more. Oh, my stuff, what is it, what's out here now? Am I, like, in the middle of a zoo? Wild boars. Okay. I'm walking very slowly. Why? What do I have that's weighing me down so much? Oh, why am I still... Why do I still have that stuff? Hmm. Um... Do I need to drop them before I can place them? I think I need to. I think that's what the problem is. I think that's the problem. I think I need to. I need to drop these things. I forgot. There's a, there's a system to it. I've forgotten what it was, but I think I need to drop those, and then we can place those things. So then we can start work, and then yeah, there we go. Then we have one. We just need a few more logs. Let's go get those logs real quick, and then we can we can get get out of the fire. Excuse me, boars. Beat it. So let's chop this thing down, and then uh, we'll, we can carry some logs over there. The Soro. And then we'll go investigate that lair. Okay, so we're going to pick up you. Okay. We'll drop them over here by our house, and then continue. Drop. Okay, we are quite hungry. We're gonna need to eat a little more. Uh, what do we have here? Porcupine meat. That's right. And my ice needs to be turned back. So let's melt that again. You can see I'm starting to get a little bit drowsy. Because I have been working for like two days straight. Um, okay, so the logs are there, so we should be able to build this and complete this. Start work. Yeah, now we have plenty of logs. We have everything we can do. Alright, good. Finish my house. Now we can put a bookcase in. We can go find books in the world. We can stash them in there. Um, if we wanted to be, if we were going to be like a minstrel of some kind, we could have, I don't know, an instrument room or something. Hey, we have a door now. Excellent. Why is this laying here? Oh, I left my chest on the ground. So yeah, we'll put the chest right here. Drop the chest. Boink. And there we go. We have a we have a bedroom. We have all oh, right. My followers don't have a bed. I mean, I could probably give them a bed. That would be nice, wouldn't it? But we're not gonna. Let's eat. What time is it? It's probably time to sleep. Let me eat uh my a little bit more of my meat, right. porcupine meat, and um. We should probably drink before we go to bed. We're going to fill it with snow and then uh, melt it. Okay, it's been heated, so now we can drink in the water. Okay, we're no longer hungry, no longer thirsty. I'm going to bed. Alright, so we want to... Shift uh, Z, and we can sleep for eight hours. We can sleep until dawn. We can we can change this if we want uh, less hours. Uh, I think eight hours is fine. Um, you guys, uh, you guys, keep guard while I sleep.
Let me know if anything terrible comes on the way. On the way. It probably could. If we went to the legends, we could check and see if the uh, army is on the march and where the army is. Probably right. So S, we're gonna stand up. Hello. Who's? What are you doing on my chest? Ooh, my skull is still there. Excellent. We're going to eat a little bit more of our uh, porcupine meat. Uh, oh, something else we can do. We can craft. We can create. We can carve a bone. We can make ourselves like a bone ring, a bone earring, a bone amulet, a bone crown. I want to make a bone ring. Oh, I do have, but I do have bone. I just need to drop it. I think it's the problem. Drop the mangled bone. It may not work because it's mangled. We'll see. Carve bone, carve a ring. Yeah, there we go. With my axe. We're using my axe on this little bone. We're, uh, we're like... Uh, whittling away at the thing, and now we can put the ring on. Yeah, now we have a ring. Okay. I'm excited about that. Okay, ring in hand. We're gonna go venture into the lair. Are you guys ready? I hope so. I'm not. Let's go see what's over here. Now, usually there's like a little pathway of some kind around. I don't see any pathways around here. Oh, there's some trees. We can see... I th is this what... Is this the... Uh, um, I'm wrong. I'm wrong. It's to ju just like directly to the west. It must be like right in here though. Right next to my home. I know it's right next to my home. Where is the entrance to it? Hmm. I might have missed it. Did someone see it up in here? So it's just it's just above me. Probably like the lair of a cow or something. Did you see it? Is no, yeah, it's not it. Hmm. It's gotta be right in here, right? Okay. Blue thing. Okay, I'm on it. house. Okay. <laughs> hey, Jim. Okay, I'm listening to Matthew. It's like a, just like a delay, though, so it's gonna be a pain. So I'm in the middle. Uh, we can look for tracks, I suppose. My sandal imprints, a lot of my imprints. Broken vegetation. It's all because of me. Literally near my house. Reme. Okay. You think it's like over here? Straight south from the door of my house. Aha! Aha! Thank you! Okay. Long live the cause. Good to see you, the servant of Rubzit. The mangy itches greet you. I have nothing. What? Okay. 
Alright, we find it. Now let's slowly make our way in here. What are these walls of? Sylvite. Yeah, let's stand up. Okay, who's in here? Hello? I'm just here to kill you. Nobody's home? Really? Let's leave him an offering. We're gonna leave him... A cast of corpse. There you go. That's for you. Wherever you are. Wherever you are. Can I look and see any tracks that aren't mine? No, they're already mine. I, like, I walked all over this thing. It's interesting how close it is to my house. Um, okay. So, I suppose what we need to do, we need a little bit of drink here. Let's go ahead and fill it first, and then we're going to drink. And then, uh, drink that. Okay, am I, am I drowsy again? I suppose we can nap for a bit. Maybe he'll come back. We will nap for... Four hours. We, can, we may be able to see his, uh, his marker. I wonder who this is. We can open Legends mode, I think from Adventure mode, safely. And maybe we can see what this is, so let's... It's good to see you, yeah. That's great to see me. I don't think he's here. Let me go check and see if he's here yet. Nope. Still a Kestrel corpse. Okay. Now let's, um... Can you save in here? I don't think so. Is it, does anyone know if it's safe to open... Um... Let's see here. Um... We're gonna open Legends. Hopefully this doesn't screw things up. So we want to see sites. Some way of looking at. I want to look at maps, I guess. We want sites shown. Uh, year 120. We are. Where are we? Like right in here. I don't know what the site is called. You think it's hex cracked? Oops. Hmm. There's Handle 2, that's our place. See things that look familiar. Horror Prowled. That's a dark pit, that's not it. Hate Routed. Dark Fortress. I don't know, I don't recognize any of these. Not sure how to look. How to see this? Hmm. hmm. All right. Doesn't say whenever. If I'm. Oops. If I'm in here, I missed it. Yeah, Hex cracked the Storms of Hardens. Hmm. 
Hmm. Okay, so let's look up. Let's look this up again. Let's look at regions. Hex cracked isn't in there. What about... Hmm. Strange that it's not in here. I mean, kind of... Not marked in here. This won't say what it is. We're gonna have to just, uh, we'll have to just do it the old-fashioned way, I think. Okay. Well, while we are, uh, trying to figure out who this guy is... I gotta eat something. I always gotta eat something. Eat some porcupine meat. Uh, I didn't mean to lick, lick the dagger. I meant to eat the porcupine. Nope. I meant to eat the porcupine meat. There we go. Okay. So let's do a little bit of exploring. So it's it's all snow and ice uh, right in right in here, but this is all watery, so we can sort of wander around here. So I'm like, so that's him right there. Oh, I wonder what's going on over... Ooh, there's his... Let's look at all the things that are going on at this town. These are the dark pits. These are the goblins. I'm very curious now. All kinds of things are happening. We're gonna get the ambush thing. And if it's the humans again, they must be some sort of bad humans. It could be good humans, I suppose. Oh, my. We, we found what it is. Okay. That's some goblins. <laughs> uh, oh. uh, we have a goblin lasher. What is this? A giant cougar. They're walking around with a free... Uh, <laughs> a skinny goblin recruit. Okay. Um, Inspuz, you go first. Mm, is this an elf? A skinny elf recruit. The elves have joined size with the goblins? What? Oh, I'm gonna step back a minute. Uh, lots of things, terrible things are happening. Coley must withdraw. The battle rages, I fear no terror. Um, I'm gonna try to get back this way. We're gonna run. We're going to sprint. And we're gonna try to run backwards and see if we can get not surrounded. They're gonna charge into the middle. Good job, guys. Uh, the goblin recruit is uh, punching Inspuz. Inspuz is punching back. So I think we found the uh, we found the army on the march. I think is uh, what this must be. Silver Spear is lodged firmly in Kali. Trying to get back over here. High cheekbones recruit latches on firmly, so they're biting each other now. Kali uh, is missing. Inspuz is Inspuz is doing a good job punching. Kali's giving into pain. Kali's gonna die. He's down. Terrifying battle going on. No one seems to be messing with me just yet. Maybe Kali just died. I think that's who that was. Kali has been struck down. A tendon in the skull has been torn. Kali felt like knocked unconscious, and now he is uh, he's down for the count. Um. <laughs> Okay, well, they're still going after Inspuz. I could probably run. Is this, this is the army of Sino marching on Horror Proud. That's Horror Proud, that town right there? You know, that's, must, that must, it's gotta be it. Uh, we're gonna throw, I'm gonna throw my dagger at the Dirty Elf. I think I missed. I missed by a lot. It's over here. How fleeting life is, says the uh, says the elf. I think I can get out of this and still survive. <laughs> I think I might be able to. I kind of I kind of don't want to run away, but but what is this? Piles. Oh, okay. Um, I can throw. I don't have my my 
my uh, bird anymore. I can throw some porcupine meat. I can throw a shad at him. I can throw some coins. Take, <laughs> take my coins. Uh, I, think we, I think we can get out of this. Flying copper bolt strikes you in the upper body. Oh, he's shooting me. Okay, I missed that. Okay, we can get it. We can get out of this. We can sneak away. Right now we're charging, but we can we can switch over to just a walk. We can also creep. We want to try to sneak away. Oh, it's a very cowardly way to go, but I'm not a dwarf. I'm oh. Here comes a bunch of them. Uh, we need to. Uh, we got a whole bunch of them heading this way. And the lasher is right there in front. What, did they lose me? I think they, I think they lost me. They're out looking for me, but I think, they, I think they lost me. I think we're safe. Can I travel? I can fast travel. <laughs> we made it. We're still alive. We ran away. We can, we're can. we gonna, we're gonna stay and fight, though, because uh, it's basically end of uh, the first half of the stream time, so we're gonna go out in a blaze of glory, even though I really want to see what that... Uh, what that uh, that beast is? What's oh, we got some more human friends here? Oh, you know what? Short swordsman. Hello, short swordsman. Uh, hello, I'm Dingo. Don't travel alone at night. Well, uh, why don't you join me real quick? Just so I have someone to follow me around. My duty is here. Yeah. Okay. Okay. There's an ambush going on. Okay. I'll join you guys. You guys go in first, and I'll be right there. Ah. What? Why is the Axe Dwarf attacking me? I am friend. Uh, why is the Axe Dwarf attacking me? Are you part of these goblins as well? I'm going to shout to him. I'm going to brag about my past violent axe. Ow! I've taken down one Kestrel while stalking Myth Papers. Myth Papers, is that the name of the guy? I got a mortal wound. He just hacks me in the upper body with his copper battle axe, tearing apart the muscle and tearing apart the right lung through my robe. I'm having trouble breathing. Uh, before I die... What was his name? Myth Papers. Open Legends. Is Myth Papers the... I'm thinking that's the, Pete, that's the person. Let's look. No. Um, is that the site? Myth Papers. There it is. Okay. What is Myth Papers? There was a hillox. The lean palisade of palace of balls found in Myth Papers. Is that right? A dwarf settled there. Some dwarves have settled there. Creature of the night, Rakust, fought with the dwarf. Lots of creatures of the night fought there. Mundo. Let me go down here at the bottom. Lots of things happened in Myth Papers. Wait, it says the human was struck down. Oh, that's Zaki. That's Zaki. And Inspa's. Blood to death by the goblin Zom in Myth. So Myth Papers is the town that I'm at right now, I think. Kali was struck down by by the elf. The goblin settled there just this year. So Dark Creature. The Faint Tomb fought with the dwarf while defeated. So I guess dwarves took it. Giant hyena devoured a beat dog. The dwarves had it. <clears throat> the goblins took it. And then the gob uh, the dwarves took it back. <clears throat> Seems to be fighting a lot. A lot of fighting going on. But then the goblins uh, came in and settled there. Now they launched an expedition to go reclaim the place. The indigo sense of, of, of that. So I think maybe maybe that's why all this is happening. Like, all this is happening right now. It's now been settled by the goblin. They came in, they attacked, they're settling it right now, and we're fighting. We're basically in the middle of this all right now. And this is the town right here. I'm going to die because of this guy, because I have a mortal wound. Uh, we're going to try to attack him, though. We're not We're not going down without a fight. We're going to strike him in the... <clears throat> uh, we can get him in the foot pretty 
easily. We're going for the foot. We're going to hack him in the foot with our sword, our axe. I missed. <laughs> uh, we're going to attack him in. He's going to attack me now. I'm going to parry his attack. I did not parry his attack. He charges at me. He collides with me. I'm knocked over. I lose hold of my helmet. My helmet fell off. I also lose hold of all my things. He uh, hacks me in the neck with his copper battle axe, and the severed part sails off in an arc, and there it is. There's my body. And there's my head. <laughs> Alright. That's adventure mode. <laughs> um, yeah, we're done. Uh, yep. Yeah. <laughs> Alright. Um, so what we're going to do now is we're going to reclaim our fort that we uh, that we were building before and uh, but first we're gonna take a break and I will be right back <laughs> 